Many of you guys asked me about the problems with the Moto G4 Plus and many of you guys had questions that you started to face after the Nougat update. In this video, I will try to cover all of the problems that the Moto G4 Plus has. I've made a list of them. There's the screen burn issue, the casting, heating issue, the ghost touch lag and I'll try to cover most of the common ones in this. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. So the screen burn is when you get kind of ghost like images on the screen and that's because of the pixels being lit for a long period of time. It happens when you play a game or some or use an application for a long period of time or an image keeps displaying on the display for a long period of time. It is caused by a faulty display and it is a hardware issue and it cannot be completely solved by software means. So it doesn't matter what update Motorola releases, this issue will not be solved. And it is also not caused by the Nougat update. There are some applications on the Play Store that would temporarily fix this issue. What those applications do is display a set of bright colors on the screen and uh, that will tune the pixels so that they don't burn out for the rest of the day or two days maximum. But it is kind of a temporary fix and it will only work for maximum two days. You can give them a shot if you want. They will be in the description box below. And if your mobile is under warranty and if you're having that issue, you can contact Motorola and Motorola would uh, replace your phone. So the second issue that many people are having is with the casting of the Moto G4 Plus and I'll try to break it down for you. It is not actually an issue but it is how Motorola configured the device to be. There are two types of casting configurations. One is what works with Google Chromecast and other Google services and the other one works better with Samsung smart TVs or other smart TVs and other types of fire sticks or something. This is not just for the Moto G4 Plus, it is present in all of the Nexus devices and all of the Pixel devices and anything released by Google has the same configuration. This can be fixed by a software update by Motorola, but I don't think they are likely to fix it because they don't consider this as a problem and this is more of a configuration. If you want to change the configuration and want to fix the casting issue and want to use your mobile on a smart TV or something, uh, if you have root access, you can add these lines to the build prop of your phone and it would work just fine. And if you're not rooted, you can watch one video made by me in the top right corner. It would, it would tell you how you can cast your mobile onto your computer. And if you want to cast your mobile onto your TV or like an Amazon Fire Stick or Roku Stick, you can use third party applications like Allcast Receiver. And with that application, you can also cast from different applications like Showbox and watch movies and TV shows directly from your mobile. If you guys want me to make a video on casting specifically and want to explain everything about the casting on the Moto G4 Plus, let me know in the comment section below and let's move on to the next one. The basic issue is that the phone heats up while charging and also heats up while playing games or using heavy applications. It is different while charging and it is different while playing games. When it is charging, the part of the mobile that is getting heat up is the battery. And that's because when you're charging your phone, there's a chemical reaction happening in the battery. So it kind of heats up and releases heat. And because we have fast charging on our phones, more current is passed and there's a lot more reactions happening. So the device heats up a bit more than usual. You can fix that by using some other charger and charging your device slowly or connecting your device via USB cable to your computer. To be honest, personally, I've never noticed my device getting really hot. It gets a little warm while charging, but that's kind of it. And if your device is getting heat up while charging, it's not a problem and you should not worry about it too much. So before moving on to the next issues, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and do that because I keep making videos like this. The next one is the heating issue that we have with the Moto G4 Plus. This one is actually caused by the processor and we have an octa-core processor on the Moto G4 Plus. So it is likely to heat up when we play games for a long period of time. And this issue is also present in all of the other mobiles that are having the same processor. So when you have an octa-core processor on a mobile, it's likely to get heat up while playing games for a while. And companies have to take different measures to fix that. Like for Redmi phones, they use thermal throttling a lot to make up for the heat that is generated. So what that does is, uh, as soon as the processor starts to get hot, they reduce the CPU load and the CPU starts to work at a lower speed. So that makes up for the heat. 
and because we have like decent heat dissipation on the Moto G4 Plus, we start to notice it when it gets hot. What Motorola could do with the next software update is that they would increase some thermal throttling that is happening on the mobile and make it become less hot while playing games. But that would induce a lot of lag and frame stuttering while using your phone for a longer period of time. So right now what you guys could do is not worry about it getting warm because it won't harm the system in any ways but it will cause a little bit of discomfort to you. And some of you guys also told me that you have ghost touch or lag while charging your phone. I don't think there's any problem of ghost touch because I didn't notice it with my phone. Uh, there could be three things causing the problem. Either your charger is faulty, either your mobile is faulty or your house is not grounded properly. And you'll have to make sure that your house is grounded properly because this problem also happens when you travel and train a lot. After you have made sure that you can get your phone replaced if it's under warranty or get your charger replaced if it's under warranty. And now for the lag that is happening while charging a device. I didn't notice any lag and none of my friends who are using a Moto G4 Plus started to notice lag while charging it. There's a bit of frame stuttering while charging the device for a longer period of time and I think that's because of the thermal throttling that is happening and that is like normal with the phones that have fast charging. So the heating issue while charging and the frame stuttering is actually caused by the fast charging on a Moto G4 Plus. And Motorola can fix this with a software update, but your phone will start to charge slowly. So I don't think they would be likely to do that. And now the ones that I will tell you are most of the software bugs or issues that are present right now. And some of them came after the no good update. So the first bug is that when you turn on airplane mode and turn it off again, the Bluetooth or Wi-Fi will turn on automatically sometimes. Yes, this is a software issue and it is a bug in the operating system. And the second one is the app crashes that you notice while you're using a lot of applications and you're switching between applications. So what would happen is that some application would crash in the background and you would not notice it. Sometimes the foreground app will also crash and sometimes system applications would crash like the system UI would crash and what would that do is uh, it would lock your screen and you would have to unlock it again and open your phone again. It does not happen always but I've seen it happening like once or twice a week. Some of you guys told me about the battery drain issue. I don't think there's any battery drain issue and I didn't notice any difference moving between Marshmallow to Nougat in, in terms of battery. I think some of you guys are still on the soak test or you are using custom ROMs and they kind of have a little less battery but I don't think there's any other problem in the battery with the Nougat update. And some of you also told me about having issues with the camera. I use my camera a lot and I didn't notice any problems with the camera at all. Let me know in the comment section below if I can recreate the camera problem that you're having. So that's it for the video guys. Let me know in the comment section below if you liked it or not. And if this video gave you any kind of help with the problems that you're having. And if you've not yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And you can also watch some previous videos on this channel.